The Second to the Thessalonians Chapter 1 Paul and Silvanus and Timothy to the congregation of the Thessalonians in union with God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May you have undeserved kindness and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are obligated to give God thanks always for you, brothers, as it is fitting, because your faith is growing exceedingly, and the love of each and all of you is increasing one toward the other. As a result, we ourselves take pride in you among the congregations of God because of your endurance and faith in all your persecutions and the tribulations that you are bearing. This is a proof of the righteous judgment of God, leading to your being counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are indeed suffering. This takes into account that it is righteous on God's part to repay tribulation to those who make tribulation for you. But to you who suffer tribulation, relief along with us at the revelation of the Lord Jesus from heaven with his powerful angels in a flaming fire as he brings vengeance upon those who do not know God and those who do not obey the good news about our Lord Jesus. These very ones will undergo the judicial punishment of everlasting destruction from before the Lord and from the glory of his strength. At the time he comes to be glorified in connection with his holy ones and to be regarded in that day with wonder in connection with all those who exercised faith, because the witness we gave met with faith among you. To that very end indeed we always pray for you, that our God may count you worthy of his calling, and perform completely all he pleases of goodness and the work of faith with power, in order that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you, and you in union with him, in accord with the undeserved kindness of our God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Chapter 2 However, brothers, respecting the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we request of you not to be quickly shaken from your reason, nor to be excited either through an inspired expression or through a verbal message, or through a letter as though from us, to the effect that the day of Jehovah is here. Let no one seduce you in any manner, because it will not come unless the apostasy comes first, and the man of lawlessness gets revealed, the son of destruction. He is set in opposition, and lifts himself up over everyone who is called God, or an object of reverence, so that he sits down in the temple of the God, publicly showing himself to be a god. Do you not remember that while I was yet with you, I used to tell you these things? And so now you know the thing that acts as a restraint, with a view to his being revealed in his own due time. True, the mystery of this lawlessness is already at work, but only till he who is right now acting as a restraint gets to be out of the way. Then indeed, the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will do away with by the spirit of his mouth and bring to nothing by the manifestation of his presence. But the lawless one's presence is according to the operation of Satan, with every powerful work and lying signs and portents, and with every unrighteous deception for those who are perishing as a retribution, because they did not accept the love of the truth that they might be saved. So that is why God lets an operation of error go to them, that they may get to believing the lie, in order that they all may be judged, because they did not believe the truth, but took pleasure in unrighteousness. However, we are obligated to thank God always for you, brothers loved by Jehovah, because God selected you from the beginning for salvation by sanctifying you with spirit and by your faith in the truth. To this very destiny he called you through the good news we declare, for the purpose of acquiring the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers, stand firm and maintain your hold on the traditions that you were taught, whether it was through a verbal message 
or through a letter of ours. Moreover, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God our Father, who loved us, and gave everlasting comfort and good hope by means of undeserved kindness, comfort your hearts and make you firm in every good deed and word. Chapter 3 Finally, brothers, carry on prayer for us, that the word of Jehovah may keep moving speedily and being glorified, just as it is in fact with you, and that we may be delivered from harmful and wicked men. For faith is not a possession of all people, but the Lord is faithful, and he will make you firm and keep you from the wicked one. Moreover, we have confidence in the Lord regarding you, that you are doing and will go on doing the things we order. May the Lord continue directing your heart successfully into the love of God and into the endurance for the Christ. Now we are giving you orders, brothers, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to withdraw from every brother walking disorderly and not according to the tradition you received from us. For you yourselves know the way you ought to imitate us, because we did not behave disorderly among you, nor did we eat food from anyone free. To the contrary, by labor and toil night and day we were working, so as not to impose an expensive burden upon any one of you. Not that we do not have authority, but in order that we might offer ourselves as an example to you to imitate us. In fact, also, when we were with you, we used to give you this order. If anyone does not want to work, neither let him eat. For we hear certain ones are walking disorderly among you, not working at all, but meddling with what does not concern them. To such persons we give the order and exhortation in the Lord Jesus Christ that by working with quietness they should eat food they themselves earn. For your part, brothers, do not give up in doing right. But if anyone is not obedient to our word through this letter, keep this one marked. Stop associating with him, that he may become ashamed. And yet do not be considering him as an enemy, but continue admonishing him as a brother. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace constantly in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Here is my greeting, Paul's, in my own hand, which is a sign in every letter. This is the way I write. The undeserved kindness of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you.